हेलो 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 गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग एम आई विजिबल टू ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल टू ऑल जस्ट चेक वेदर वी आर लाइव और नॉट Yes, so I think we are live now. We are live. Yes. Uh, so can I get a thumbs up uh, if all of you can hear me? If all of you can see me? Okay. So yes. So couple of things uh, before we proceed further. So welcome all of you to the class. And yes, can I just get a uh, So can I get the thumbs up just if to just make sure in the chat box can somebody type in the chat box am I visible to all am I audible to all uh, yes so welcome to our free class session this is a continuation like we are going to ask we are going to discuss about some of the recently uh, asked uh, MCQ which were there uh, in this uh, examinations okay uh, in couple of in the recent uh, past what exams were conducted okay so this is the target NEET PG 2023 batch which we are I'm going to start with which is going to start from the month of June and where you will be given the best possible teachers recorded sessions if live classes are missed well structured program six months uh, theory wise topics and then revision time three months also you will get and live interactive classes with all the best educators similarly uh, this is the neat pg which is the and the code is mentor okay m e n t o r so please uh, do not uh, waste your time and as soon as possible you can start your preparation with the promo code uh, mentor uh, and uh, M E N T O R. this is the need pg 2023 for the next year examination uh, there is this batch starting from july which is going to be six months which is going to be more of a test and discussion for repeaters or those who have not done well in this need pg and would want to better their performances all subjects image based questions rapid revision okay iconic subscription price rising soon so please enroll if you want both the world's prep ladder and an academy then you can use the code mentor and enroll soon okay can i get something in the chat box can some student type in the chat box or something so that we know that the, even the chat box function is working uh, and uh, uh, daily launching practice test also uh, so uh, this is the topic wise test at the end of every class you can attempt an academy light also available that is just for those who do not want theory lectures but only mcqs and question bank okay so it's a question bank available uh, and these are the upsc batch and mbbs first year students also and all of you know uh, the interactive classes uh, polls raise the hand never miss a class lecture and anytime anywhere okay so with this we just uh, begin uh, our uh, discussion uh, and uh, plus subscription you know what all you get live lectures recorded classes best teachers question bank test series anytime any device and the price rise coming soon so just go for it and uh, depending on your requirement you can go for three months six months subscription with the mentor being the promo code okay so with this let us go on to discuss some of the important mcqs which had come in the uh, recent uh, examination yes so it's going to be like yesterday's session where i want all of you uh, to participate and tell me the answers uh, right wrong does not matter uh, so you can uh, uh, give the answer uh, when uh, you see the question okay so let it be like an interactive class so we know uh, 
uh, whether all of you are understanding or not yes okay so it's the first question for the day a 18 year old patient has come to us with uh, pay, with primary amenorrhea there is primary amenorrhea anybody very simple what's the diagnosis yeah good evening shweta kala okay yes so primary amenorrhea having a infantile uterus that itself is enough to tell you the diagnosis that which patient of primary amenorrhea has an infantile uterus that is given this is lot of extra information to make the mcq very simple cardio type 45 exo so anybody what is the diagnosis yes excellent uh, uh, excellent aradra ragesh ashweta so this is our 45 xo or this is the turner syndrome okay this is the turner syndrome uh, which is there now anybody what should be the further plan of action anybody a b c d or 1 2 3 4 you can type in the chat box what do you think will you be doing uh, for this patient of turner syndrome Uh, yes yashika kavya all of you correct with the diagnosis so uh, turner syndrome what next okay so do you require to remove no there is streak ovary streak you did not do gonadectomy anybody gonadectomy is recommended in which patients anybody gonadectomy should be done in androgen insensitivity patient syndrome because that undescended test is the risk of becoming malignancy okay so in complete androgen insensitivity syndrome there is undescended test is there is undescended test is which we will be removing here what is sure nobody is limit answer all of you what is the answer so here the and they do not require clitoroplasty do not require vaginoplasty the answer is hormone replacement therapy to induce puberty why very good yes sir why why because sir in these patients there is streak ovaries so ovaries are replaced by fibrous bands so basically from the ovary hormones are not coming hormones are absent what is the uterus there is a small infantile uterus a small infantile uterus so what can happen is that under the influence first we give only estrogen to the patient okay when we give estrogen to the patient the endometrial lining the uterus slightly becomes bigger 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 under the influence of estrogen and the endometrium lining grows okay so endometrium starts growing under the influence you have to mimic a natural thing what happens in the body because the ovaries are not functioning all of you know there is streak ovaries yes or no so when we give estrogen first the endometrium starts to grow 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 and then what do i give afterwards if we overlap it and give it with progesteron so all of you know the dictum or the rule that progesteron can act on estrogen primed endometrium i repeat the rule or the dictum is progesteron acts on estrogen primed endometrium and when this progesterone effect will go away that is basically and then you stop the medicines it is called basically e plus p there is going to be withdrawal okay so there is going to be a withdrawal bleeding and that will help her that is actually the menses for the patient and estrogen will also protect her bones and prevent her from osteoporosis because bones will become weak so such patients and even growth hormone your medicine teacher will also teach you this the growth hormone uh, can be given to increase the height of the patient is it clear to all of you so hrt hormone replacement therapy is given to induce puberty matlab induce menses is this understood to all of you what is given estrogen plus progesterone is given and growth hormone can also be given uh, for this patients is this understood to all of you yes so that's a very very important question that's what we do actually in the management of turner syndrome where uh, we give estrogen progesterone to induce puberty or basically induce menses okay uh, moving on uh, to the next question uh, for the day yes very straightforward very simple question we have a lady who is 28 weeks pregnant uterine size is 24 so uterus is less than weeks of gestation and there is absent liker absent liker is called like anhydroamnios or severe the same question can also come as absent liker or severe oligo 
hydro amnios okay either in the question they can mention severe uh, oligohydro amnios or complete absent liker which of the following is the most likely cause anybody so what is the cause for this now uh, this yes very good excellent shweta kavya that sir tracheoesophageal fistula swallowing defect generally the liker is going to be more okay yes so all of us know the dictum all of us know that fetal urine please pay attention fetal urine is the major contributor to the liker okay asked in neat pg as well as fmg okay so wherever in all the conditions where the fetal urine output is decreased there is going to be oligohydroamnios okay and maybe swallows the same thing okay it looks very disgusting now but all of us have done the same thing in the intrauterine life okay jo pee kiya wohi piya what you pee the same you drink okay so you pee you drink you pee you drink okay all of us have done the same thing in the intrauterine life okay so wherever the swallowing defect is there or swallowing is not going to be there the liker levels are going to increase yes or no so that's going to be polyhydroamnios when there is swallowing defect so here we get this esophageal atresia duodenal atresia all that cases including esophageal atresia duodenal atresia including your congenital diaphragmatic hernia and mainly your uh, swallowing defects like nn kefali okay also and your open neural tube defects okay in open neural tube defect it's a separate question why in neural tube there's there is csf transudation so all the swallowing defects is going to cause polyhydroamnios but the question over here will be what yes the fetal renal anomalies anybody what else could be there okay renal anomalies could be there so even absent there's a chance that is called as bilateral renal agenesis okay it's not compatible with life if you diagnose it earlier you can you should do mtp for the patient because bilateral kidneys absent the babies can't survive okay or there could be posterior urethral valves which may require a surgery after the baby is born okay and the other causes of oligo is your utero placental insufficiency like your severe preeclampsia iugr so with this one mcq we discuss all the other causes okay where do we which all conditions we get oligohydramnios sir fetal renal anomalies uske alawa can anybody tell me couple of more causes more causes yes so renal problem and also don't forget post datism okay very famous once the once you cross the dates once you cross the due date okay but the same thing a uh, first life choice again in diaphragmatic hernia na the all that all the uh, this has gone inside okay uh, the lungs have pushed to one side and all the uh, gut uh, has got inside the lung so swallowing gets difficult okay so swallowing of the liker there is there is a transit through the gi tract is not there okay so uh, post datism iugr and also prom once the membranes will rupture uh, the liker is going to be lesser okay and pre eclampsia don't forget this okay so all these are the uh, conditions where you get oligohydroamnios okay so very straightforward question yes another very very big longest clinical question all of you gravida 3 para 2 living 2 previous to full term normal delivery her blood group is a negative so basically rh negative pregnancy anybody okay and history of antd injection should have been given after previous delivery we do not know so right now what is the best test to diagnose whether this patient has been rh sensitized or not uh, excellent uh, first life kavya aradhra okay okay so don't get confused point number 1 direct scoops test remember is done by the pediatrician okay why by the pediatrician on the baby it is done on the newborn after the baby delivery okay after the baby delivery on the newborn on the newborn the pediatrician will do this direct scoops test 
we as a gynecologist we do indirect scombs test what is this indirect scombs test means that all of you pay attention that what happens in this rh negative pregnancy in rh negative pregnancy the fetal rbcs fetal rbcs the fetal rbcs okay they are okay the mother is rh negative mother is rh negative all of you know and if the father okay father or the husband okay father or the husband is rh positive and if the baby okay the baby is turns out to be rh positive okay then there is a so fetal rbcs which are rh positive can leak this is called as what all of you feto maternal hemorrhage okay either at the time of delivery or antenatal if some procedure is done chorionic villus sampling miscarriage or all that cases then there is a chance of feto maternal hemorrhage which is okay feto maternal hemorrhage uh, which is uh, there then this rh positive cells can enter into the mother and they can stimulate the maternal immune system they can stimulate the maternal immune system and this then mother can form the antibodies is this understood to all of you mother will form the antibodies initially igm is formed then igg is formed and igg will then cross the placenta igg crosses the placenta and causes fetal hemolysis okay so this is in nutshell of explain to you what happens in a rh negative pregnancy if the baby is rh positive so mother maternal immune system can get stimulated and mother can form antibodies against this rh positive cells which can then cause fetal hemolysis because the baby is rh positive is it clear to all of you so whether this antibody whether this antibody is formed or not how do i come to know we come to know through ict or indirect scombs test is this understood to all of you so just remember that a mother who is rh negative if your patient is rh negative during her whole pregnancy ict should remain negative is this clear to all of you if the ict is negative that means she is not yet rh immunized and so right now the antibody has not yet got formed moment the ict anybody what is the thing moment the ict is positive what does it indicate anybody ict positive what does it indicate ICT positive means that the mother has been sensitized and the antibody is also formed. Okay, antibody has started formation. Yeah, so ICT caveat it not need not only say FMH fetal hemorrhage ke alawa one step more hemorrhage may be very less quantum. It is not only the hemorrhage has happened; it is also that the antibody has entered the movie and ict positive means the antibody is there so what we are supposed to do if the ict is positive then the next step what we do is you have to do rh titers okay what is the titer okay and then the further management we discuss in the actual class you have to do rh titers you have to do the antibody titer okay antibody titer has to be done is it clear so please pay attention if the and if the ict is positive they ask you the next step to be done is the antibody titer okay antibody titer should be done and then the further management will take place depending on how much is the antibody titer and what all you need to do okay is this understood to all of you yes one more scene of such a longish question such a long question but hardly the question is only one line 39 year old okay 18 weeks okay the fetal anatomy is normal but the cervical length is 15 millimeters so very very okay less it's a short cervix okay despite uh, there is okay there is whatever pay circulage operation okay which of the following is a complete or a absolute contraindication to encircalage surgery okay so point number one please pay attention the cervical encircalage what is the name of the surgery 
any idea what is the name of the surgery so there's a baby which is the name of the surgery so we do when the cervix is short okay when the cervix is short and either the cervix is short or there is a previous history very suggestive of how does cervical incompetence present to us so basically it is a surgery for cervical incompetence what is the surgery for cervical incompetence it is called as what do you do all of you we take a stitch and what do we do we go around so okay it is called as a cervical encerclage cervical encerclage or also called as os tightening okay it is called as cervical encerclage or os tightening and can anybody tells me tell me the name of the surgery or the name of the operations yes what is the name of the operation okay so what is the name okay so mcdonald okay mcdonald encerclage mcdonald and one is the indian okay shirodkar okay is this understood to all of you the name of the surgeries they have also been asked to you mcdonald encerclage surgery and shirodkar encerclage operation okay so these are the names of the surgery so anybody yes very good okay so anybody what is the question is that in which of the following it is a contra indication to do this cerclage operation so membranes bulging in the vagina the surgery becomes difficult but we can reposit the membranes back and we can go ahead and do the cerclage anybody this positive fetal fibronectin just tells me in the vaginal that there is a risk for preterm labor okay this is a marker fetal fibronectin test it is that the patient may land up with preterm okay similarly a short cervix also is a marker for preterm but that's okay advanced maternal age ka koi nahi hai once the membranes have ruptured is it clear so very good those who answered option number 3 very good so ruptured membrane is a absolute contra indication because once the membranes have ruptured all the lyca drains out there is no point conserving the pregnancy can anybody tell me couple of other operate couple of other indication other contra indications okay so my question is what i'm writing ci what is the contra indication for encerclage surgery anybody one is premature rupture of membrane which is the answer over here ruptured membrane what else anybody anybody which condition i would not want to do a cerclage two at least two three more we should know if the baby is dead if the baby is dead i u f d again no point doing the cerclage okay if the baby is dead no point doing the cerclage again okay if the baby is dead again there is no point doing the encerclage surgery what else what else chalo nobody nobody what else okay then anomalous if there is a gross anomalies in the baby gross anomalies in the baby or anomalies which are not compatible with life then there are gross anomalies again we are not supposed to why because there is no point conserving that pregnancy anyway we don't want to terminate and lastly chorio amnionitis is this understood to all of you okay so okay chorio amnionitis again if there is a infection if there is infection then such patients better uh, to uh, you need to go and deliver the patient you should not conserve the pregnancy so basically anywhere where the pregnancy continuation is not good okay there is no uh, point continuing the pregnancy chorio am neonitis is this understood to all of you okay so 
rupture of membranes, dead baby, anomalous baby, chorioamnionitis, all this condition we are supposed to not do the encircalage operation or encircalage operation is contraindicated. Okay, so all these are the important MCQs and uh, yes, we will also yes one more very important mcq anybody again this was in one of the recent examinations i want your diagnosis first okay i want the diagnosis first okay so what we have we have got a multi gravity that's okay in the second stage of labor for two hours head is still palpable head is still palpable and fetal hearts are okay okay but cervix is fully dilated fully dilated matlab all of you 10 centimeters what is the diagnosis Head is at the level of ischial spine. So, what is the ischial spine means what? Okay. Uh, okay. Adra occipital posterior se better. Occipital posterior se better is what diagnosis. And it is given to you. ROT. ROT matlab what? Okay. No. But so, what is it? Okay. What is it? Okay. Yeah. Correct. Uh, previous question. Eclampsia also. Correct. Eclampsia is also that then you are anyway going to. Uh, no, better than obstructed level. Okay, okay, okay. So, ischial spine matlab station 0. So, head is at the level of ischial spine matlab station 0 and occiput is transverse. So, Adra, you are partly correct with occipital posture, but at the level of like, beginning with occipital posture, now what is it? Okay, and caput is getting formed, molding is there. So, basically, yes, obstructed labor, prolonged labor, very good. But this is, okay, this is deep transverse arrest okay the main diagnosis yes all of you long labor head two hours say fully dilated head pushing her so she is going uh, head is not coming down below the level of ischial spine is it clear to all of you so what is it is that if this is the maternal pelvis this is anteriorly pubic symphysis the occiput is generally here this is called as rop right and left is in relation to mother so this is the mother's right side this is the mother's left side okay so yes you are correct that this is occipital posterior to begin with but 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 then if there's a short anterior rotation what happens is short anterior rotation i repeat there's a short anterior rotation now the occiput comes at nine o'clock this cross what i'm drawing this cross is the occiput okay this is the occiput so if the occiput is here the sagittal suture will run from year to year. Sagittal suture runs from year to year. Okay. And the head will come down, come down, come down, but will get stuck at the level of ischial spine. This is called as, this is called as deep transverse arrest. Is this understood to all of you? So what is the meaning of deep transverse arrest? Sir, occiput is transverse occiput is transverse occiput transverse matlab either three o'clock if it starts from here it comes to here three o'clock so either at three o'clock or nine o'clock that is the meaning and that is given to you see i have told you rot right occipital transverse right side of the mother that means exactly here right occipital transverse that means occiput is this is rot occiput is at right rot okay and head is stuck at the level of ischial spine which is station zero all those who have attended my lectures before know that station zero we cannot apply forceps and vacuum and you should not wait further already so the answer is yes emergency lscs is this understood forceps not possible vacuum not possible in dta in modern day obstetrics the deep transverse arrest should be delivered by emergency lscs only is this understood to all of you if the head crosses the ischial spine if the head crosses the ischial spine and further rotation takes place that is what is x that is what a good scenario then it is conversion to occipital anterior and then occipital anterior vaginal delivery is possible so this is a very very important clinical case don't make a mistake and many students tell me yes sir it can happen in so it is more likely to happen in a android pelvis okay in a android pelvis which is like a male heart shaped pelvis is more chance. okay the gynecoid pelvis is a roomy pelvis and so android pelvis where the walls are converging the spine is prominent 
in the android kind of a pelvis there is more chance of developing deep transverse array so you need to know the important points in this is cervix is fully dilated station is at the level of each shell spine that means station zero and after pushing 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 for two hours also the further descent is not taking place you make the diagnosis of deep transverse arrest and the delivery is by emergency LSCS only. Now, sir, why a multi gravida should happen? This yes, because the first time it generally more common in primary gravida, but just the students is a multi. -man. So yes, it can happen. That's the first time. So first time the baby weight was 2.5 kilo, and that's why the delivery took place. The second time the baby weight is 3.5 kilo. Okay, so now this 2.5 kilo baby or this could be a 2.2 kilo baby which could be delivered, but now a 3 3.5 kilo is not able to deliver. Okay, so basically whether it's primary or multi don't get uh, confused by whether it's a primary or multi just remember what is deep transverse arrest sir occiput is at occiput station zero head at the cervix fully dilated and occiput at 9 o'clock occiput at 9 o'clock matlab right occipital transverse and then further descent is not possible that is deep transverse arrest and you go for lscs is this understood to all of you okay so i hope all of you had a great time today and this is our session for today and tomorrow morning okay tomorrow morning which is saturday we are having a free class completely free class it's a special class tomorrow morning okay it's a special class tomorrow morning at 9 15 a.m in the morning okay okay so tomorrow which is uh, 25th okay so 25th of june as well as 26th of june which is saturday and sunday we are again going to discuss some of the clinical cases and images okay so one hour class here and one hour class here okay it is 9 15 am so all of you welcome it's on the unacademy platform on the unacademy app so please download the app and mentor is the code to unlock the free content it's absolutely a free class for all of you it's a free session or what we call it as a special class okay so hoping to see all of you uh, tomorrow also and you can come in tomorrow morning at 9 15 am in the morning for a one hour we'll be discussing of the important mcqs and images for the upcoming need pg as well as fmg examination so images and mcqs tomorrow as well as on sunday okay so bye bye best of luck thank you very much hope all of you had a great time and see you soon tomorrow and see you bye bye thank you very much